Hello everyone, this is Natoya, BDI79, and I wanted to share with you a swap that I'm doing um, that Scrapping 2010 um, hosted. And my partner came out to be um, Angie Green Bees Creation. And um, this is the mailbox that I did. Um, so let's get started. Uh, first, I um, used Tim Holt's um, line of paper. It is the uh, uh, Lost and Found, and I used the one that had the map. I went with the theme um, travel. So the map is um, associated with traveling because you need that to know where you're going unless you haven't been there before. But anyway, um, what I did was I glued it down with uh, some tacky adhesive and um, I distressed the edges also um, this trim here um, I got from my mom and all I did was cut pieces to fit the part that opens here and and I put it back here as well I also added some flat back pearl trim um, here and here. I added some lace. It's originally white and I sprayed it with butterscotch so that it can be the tones of the flowers. And I also added rhinestones in the center of the flower as well as um, some water pebbles. The water pebbles were clear but I put um, butterscotch alcohol ink on it to give it a tint. Um, um, I also uh, sprayed the flowers with butterscotch and uh, sprayed some spray on it as well. And on the back, so therefore I put this on there to make it seem like it's something that I got from Africa so traveling around the world and the thing that I'm going with is that um, I traveled around the world to collect these items or you know as a part of my trip or something so that's what I was going for and as you see on the back it has um, more water pebbles that's tinted with the butterscotch alcohol ink. Um, I pretty much left the flag plain. As you can see, and just to stress it to make it look real aged. And as you can see, this has the west, eastern hemisphere. No, this is the western hemisphere. <coughs> attached um, a tassel to the front with flat black pearl trim around it to give it some type of embellishment. I also added uh, my information on a little tag here that I had pre-made already that I really wasn't using so I decided to use it and um, I cut a piece of the paper, added, um, trimmed it, distressed it and put the world on it and I pretty much just um, created a pocket here in the front okay as you see the inside is black and uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you the mini or show you the mini okay um, here we have um I took the Tim Holtz tattered banner and cut out um, the smallest flag. He got a, kind of got pressed down because it was in the mailbox, but I, I wrote travel on it. 
I don't have any stamps that have travel anything on it, so I did it with, um, I wrote it in with my calligraphy pens that I received for Christmas. And I added some um, glass beads on the sides, flat back um, pearl trim, alcohol inked with um, the butterscotch and these leather flowers. This trim here is originally white and I sprayed it with the Adirondack washed um, lettuce. And this one here is um, sprayed with butterscotch as well. I actually made this, um, it's supposed to be like a picture frame that I created from, um, that I made, that I so-called um, bought in Africa. So I just um, took some lightweight packaging chipboard, um, painted it black. Um, added a frame using my uh, rectangle spiral binders and I did the little technique in the back. It's a little um, using the red pepper washings, etc. And then the glimmer mist, I mean, not glimmer mist, but the um, iridescent red, no, forever red spray in the back. And I also um, added some trim that, I mean, some fibers that I have in my stash. And I also created this little bee charm here, um, the gold bee, and I added some wings, and it also has a little kitty on it. Um, now to the first page. Um, here you see the flower with the three beads, and um, actually this slides out, and you can open it, and this side opens as well. So it closes back. But anyway, um, here it is another way you can um, add pictures or whatever you can draw on it. And I also used um, my UD to create this um, mold of a fractured doll and I added feathers behind it. And it also has textured um, honeycomb paper in the back. And here we have our first top. This is great for pictures or drawing or whatever you like. And it's pretty much just opens the same way as the front. So you just slide this out, open it as well. Um, here, um, I um, crocheted some flowers and put it here. Um, some leaves and um, some beads that I had in my stash. I also took that same trim that's on the front. Instead of using the lettuce, I used the, um, the espresso one, the brown one. And then I used the lettuce on the smaller trim. And here is a tag. And also on here, I just created a small little tag here, and I cut this piece out of um, out of the paper stash and glued it down, and added some beading and rhinestone here. Also here, I also um, created a fan using my scoreboard, Martha Stewart scoreboard, and um, these are mini tags with glass beads attached. And I put this little string around it because um, they, they were in there, but I ended up slinging it and they fell out, so I attached a string just to keep them in there. I added a feather um, and rhinestones, and this is also a photo mat or a drawing spot, whatever you like. And I wrote cherry blossoms and um, on the back and put a rhinestone on it, and I did this butterfly with glitter and a mold that I made out of a charm. I put the glitter and well I pulled the glossy accent then the mold and then I put the glitter in the back and that was it and each um, TP has a tag for drawing and it's pretty much blank so um, that's it and the back is plain I also added some other stuff in there that I don't want to give away so I mean not give away but don't want to show what it is but um, it's some handmade flowers that I made, these plaques that I made, these um, masks that I made for my mold that I have. These are some surprises. It's actually some um, charms. These are other things that I made that make it look like I went traveling and then got them. So I packaged them up that way. And this is another one of some charms that I'm giving away to her. And, and they're from France, so-called. But anyway, I hope she loves it. And um, everyone have a great day. Thank you. Please leave a comment.